Now this is my space, urban beekeeping and gardening at its finest. Everything is blooming lovely down there, all these wildflowers, northeast wildflower mix. Absolutely beautiful, even from above. Got all my veggies are. And a bit windy today on the roof. The windbreak on the deck is doing a pretty decent job. The bees are really moving today. I was in hives and did a couple splits, and everybody's doing really, really well. And I also have on the roof, I also have four other colonies. It's much windier up here, and I don't have a windbreak up here except for this little wall, which makes a complete difference at this height but once you get above the wall you got to be ready for the wind the bees seem to be doing okay with it here though not minding at all as a matter of fact these two colonies here i just added supers to for those of you that don't know a super is this box here that's a medium super that's about six inches deep and the bottom one is a deep super and that one's about nine inches deep that's the frame size and some people get bugged out and weirded out about honeybees. Honeybees are really, really not at all aggressive uh, for the most part. There's sometimes there's, there's colonies that get hot, so they say, and they're just not very nice, at which time you're usually recommended to replace your queen uh, and get her genetics out of the mix. But these two hives here are absolutely packed that's why i had to add the extra space so they didn't decide to swarm out of there but they're doing a nice job up here i was a little concerned at first with the weather and the wind and everything else but uh doesn't seem to bother them so far the heat hasn't been too bad either i did put this carpet down as kind of a a kind of a helper with the sun and i might even go get some silver coat and just throw it around up here to kind of Take the heat but I'm a little worried that that'll do more reflecting and I don't want that so I'm gonna keep an eye on these up here and see how they're doing uh, probably next month once we get up into the higher temps but it's an absolutely picture-perfect day with a beautiful blue sky with these big beautiful puffy clouds wonderful And as you can see, once again, this is my surrounding area. Got some residential areas right up here, a little bit of housing. Almost all the rest of this is industrial space. Uh, right along the tracks. As if you've any, seen any of my videos, you're sure to have figured out that I'm right next to the train tracks. If not by sight, but certainly by sound. Because they get quite a bit of noise from the trains as they come ripping down the tracks. You can see I'm on a nice straightaway. And generally speaking, I don't have uh, too much to worry about when it comes to derailments. Although we had a tragic one happen not too far down the tracks, a few miles uh, several years ago, which was absolutely devastating, obviously. But here we are back again with the bees. You guys might like to see it in the gardens once again. Thanks a lot for watching.